Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Edith and I am super excited to be bringing you a fall video today. We are going to be making some lentil soup and I am super excited because this is my favorite season. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below of any content you would like to see from me. Enjoy the video guys. Okay, so there's a little bit of oil left in here after cooking the sausages. So I'm going to use this little bit of oil or fat, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to sofre el sazón, which is put just put the seasoning in here and let it cook for a little bit. So this is the sazón I had made earlier. Um, I'll probably put me making it this video so just a little bit of saffron okay hold on where's your cup I'm gonna let the saffron cook for a little bit then I'm gonna put some garlic as well as this is tomato paste. Okay, so I have salt, pepper. Although the sazon has onions and I'm gonna put garlic in it, I like to always use the powder. And I might use a little bit of this just to give it a chicken flavor. You wanna get the stool? So let me show you what it's looking like. This is the sofrito. I was looking. I'm about to add the other ingredients. I don't want it to burn too much. What is that? Okay. Okay. So, what is my it's one? actually my first time making this. So I don't really know what, how am I supposed to add it? What's the order? I'm going to put a little bit of garlic. Oop, that's a little bit too much. Now what is this? Potato. I don't want the garlic to burn because it gives it a funny taste. So I'm just going to get rid of the liquid in here. This is lentil. Where is it? Where's the cup I gave you? I'm going to put it in here. Okay, so this is what it's looking like right now. Just emptied the can. I'm gonna let the beans just cook a little bit with the seasoning that I put in there before I add water and let it boil. I'm about to put you on top of this container. Okay, you can't you still can't see what's inside. But okay. I'm gonna add some garlic or I mean onion powder, sorry. Pepper. Some salt. I'll taste it later to make sure that it has enough salt. I'm just gonna add maybe half the pack. Maybe less than half and this is the tomato paste came in a can um, and I just put it in here to leave it in the freezer because it doesn't last long if I leave it in the fridge it'll mold but it gets really hard so I would suggest to just take it out a little bit in advance
That piece I fell on the floor. Okay. Okay, this is harder than I thought. Okay. So. Okay. Just show you what it's looking like. See. gonna add more tomato paste I don't think it needs any more but I'm going to add the water so I'm gonna use the same can to measure out the water I'm going to add the carrots and potatoes in now so I washed them or rinsed them and I'm just gonna add it now the potatoes are a little bit bigger pieces I cut the carrots small and the potatoes a little bit bigger because the potatoes cook quicker are just going to let it simmer or come up to a boil and then I'll lower the fire and see how this turns out show you how it looks right now this is what it's looking like looks good can't smell anything yet because it's I guess not hot enough or I don't know but I'll try it once the water heats up I feel like I'll get the best uh, flavor after the water is hot to try it to make sure that it's seasoned properly and then we'll determine if we have to add more or not I'm gonna let it boil for a little bit um, I want the liquid to thicken I'm pretty sure the potatoes will help with that. I have not added the sausages. I'm gonna let it boil for a little bit, maybe 15 minutes to soften the potatoes and the carrots. Then I'll lower the heat, add the sausages, let it simmer for a little bit just to get that sausage flavor. And then I'm gonna actually make a side to go with it. Okay, so it's been boiling for about 15 minutes, so I'm going to lower the heat. And I'm going to add the sausages. These are the sausages. I'm looking at it, and I wish I would have made more, but it's, a, it's okay. Just add these. I'm stirring with my left hand. I'm not a lefty, so that's why it looks weird. But I'm going to cover it and just let it keep cooking until the vegetables are softened and then it's ready. Good job. Okay, Much, much 
all of them? What about the belly? Hmm? The belly is the white part. Yeah, I'm not trying to show my face because my hair ain't done, but um, I'm gonna fry these plantains. I'm not gonna eat the whole plantain. I'll probably eat like four plantains with the soup that I'm making. So yeah. Now I'm trying to, it's not really a diet, but just eat better so that I can lose this weight. So this is like my day one making something healthy that i've been trying to make um so this is day one we're making the lentil soup plantains may not be considered healthy um maybe high in calories but i love them and i'm gonna have something healthy with something that may not be as healthy i'm just going to limit how much i have so let's go fry these let me heat up the oil and i'll show you me frying them So you're gonna fry them until they get the slightest bit of yellow. You're gonna remove them and flatten them. And then fry them again. You're just flipping them so they can cook evenly on both sides. You don't want to have your oil too low because you don't want them to fill up with oil. So I have it on medium. I'm going to remove them. Yes, let me just finish frying this and then I'll change the channel. Okay. Yeah, me neither. No, me neither. Move to the next station. I love that picture. You don't need to let it dry. No. Okay, so I don't have a plantain masher, whatever it's called. I have a greca. I'm going to use the bottom of it just to mush it down. Why do you need to mush it down? Because I got to fry them again. Oh. Okay. Well, we'll make it anyways. <laughs> These are plantains. I want to eat them with my soup that I made. I made a soup for myself. I love soup, but I love them like Ooh, it's hot. Be careful. Those are already hot still. Yeah. I'm going to fry them again. Yep. Why? To finish cooking. Okay. <coughs> now we're going back to the other station. Let's see. So you can put it on another channel. Get down, baby. Put them back in. This is what's gonna make them crunchy. I love them crunchy. I'll cut them into thinner pieces so that they are more crunchy when you fry them the second time around.
Okay, let's move this back. Safety. And this is the plantains. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt on them and they're done. Now let's serve this delicious soup. Okay. Let's serve it in here. Oh, they actually thickened up. But that's okay. It smells delicious. Put some plantains in here. Okay, I may add a little bit more. And I said, get an avocado. I don't know if the avocado is still good. I've had it for a while. It's still good. I may just have to eat the whole thing though. Just eat the whole thing. Okay. I'm going to add some lime. a little bit and I'm gonna garnish it with a little bit of salt on the avocado and pepper on everything let me show you how it turned out it might not look appetizing but it sure smells good okay